strength of talented performers to call the Branson area home. Opening his Blue Velvet Theater in 1993, Bobby offers a show that is appealing to both young and old alike. Bobby's impressive list of songs are recognized as standards throughout the world, and his music has retained its vitality and relevance throughout changing times. Well, Branson is the entertainment capital of the world. There's no place like it, especially for my type of entertainment. I'm a family entertainer, and, and my music is kind of uh, uh, romantic, wholesome, uh, everything that I thought was over with. And, you know, you go to L.A., you go to New York, and uh, you watch the music awards on television, and they say, this is the music of America. Well, I figured maybe I should have gone fishing until I came to Branson and found out that there are millions of people who love to be entertained with the type of music, you know, that I do. And then uh, I decided that if I ever brought the Glenn Miller Orchestra with me, it would even be an added plus. So uh, we're offering, uh, you know, big band music with uh, all of my records as well as uh, entertainment. Well, my show is a little bit of everything. It's, uh, it's family entertainment. My mother sings and dances. My daughters sing and dance. I, of course, do all of my many hits, as well as Glenn Miller's orchestra and all, all of their many hits. And then we combine the two. It's, uh, it's, really, it's really a treat for me to be able to sing songs like Roses Are Red and Blue Velvet with the Glenn Miller Orchestra accompanying me in, it, in the fashion that the Glenn Miller Orchestra would have played it. Uh, so it's really a, a musical event. Uh, we call it the... Uh, you know, some of the greatest music in music history to, to be able, and we have the people get up and dance to Moonlight Serenade and In the Mood and Chattanooga Choo Choo. It's just uh, a, a lot of great music which is still alive. Well, I think having my own theater is probably the greatest thing that has ever happened to me, and I think uh, moving to Branson is the greatest thing that has, has ever happened to me. I, uh, I could have pursued movies and television and still been traveling all over the world if I wanted to, but there's something special about Branson. Uh, I believe that I was meant to come to Branson. I'm, I'm kind of, I get into these subject matters at times, and I just figured if there's anyone, and there's not too many, but if there's anyone who should be in Branson performing with who he is and what his values are and what his music is, it's me. I'm in one of the top ten that should be in Branson.